Bueno, lo que pasa es que las canciones, las canciones han tenido tantos nombres que yo no me acuerdo ni siquiera cuáles eran los nombres. Uh, ¿Cómo te acuerdas que se llamaba? Este, imagínate, la que se llama Abide With Us, se llamaba, era, o sea, ni siquiera tiene ese nombre, yo la conozco como la canción de la presencia, y ni siquiera es esa. Because dad calls it the present song. Oh, okay. That's why he's like, sing the present song, so then we go to una cosa yo deseo. Um, but let me tell you how the song came out. <laughs> That night, when that song came out, it came out on the altar. And it was such a it was such a testimony kind of night for me. Because I felt so like I was doing nothing right. I felt like I man, like I am putting pouring my heart out here. You know, it's not catching on. Like, and I was just like, you know, Holy Spirit, like there's there's nothing I can do. Like I can I can just do what I, you know, my best. But there was a moment where God said to me, until you feel like you're worth nothing, then will you be worth something. And it's not about people seeing you being worth nothing, but rather you feeling like you can do nothing on your own. That's why you need me. Only then can you need me, you know? I remember Danny was on the piano and then George started playing this melody, the guitar melody. And I, I looked at the screen and on the screen was the scripture that says, una cosa yo deseo y es habitar por siempre en la casa de Jehová todos los días de mi vida, right? And I just heard like, una cosa yo deseo y es contigo habitar, you know? Y habitar en tu presencia y que, que más voy a hacer que adorarte, you know? So that was just my, my, my interpretation of what I was living in that moment from a place of my brokenness. Like, what else can I do? You know, like there's just one thing I want, you know, and it's just one, there's just this one thing that, that we all really as worshipers desire and it's just to be in the presence of God, you know? So in that moment, it, I didn't care what was, if it was good or not, I could care less. Like at that point I was like, you know what? Everything's gone wrong. And this is the only thing that feels right, you know? And sure enough, it was such a moment that it turned into like this thing that I was like, what's happening right now? You know, like Apostle is is crying and the church is like on the floor and all of us are like, all of us were like weeping on the floor. Like, and he, he was like, you know, we're gonna put this on the album and I want this song. And there was, there's a line or, or, or a lyric in the song that says, every scar that shows you love me, that I'm yours and you're mine. And it's very intimate, you know, um, and the reason That song is so pop. That 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 lyric carries such a weight for me. Is because when I was praying uh, before we recorded the album, I remember that uh, that I, Jesus. I had a, I had an encounter with Jesus, and he was in the spirit. Like I felt I was standing in front of him, and I could I could see him. And he told me, "Hug me." And when I hugged him, like I put my hands on his back, and. I literally could feel like scars on his back, like huge thick scars, like with my fingers, I could feel them. And he said to me, like while I was holding him, he said to me, now you feel my love. Now you can feel how much I love you. And I, what, what could I do? <laughs> I started to cry so much because, uh, you know, we talk about the love of God and embracing us and loving us and this and God, Jesus showed us his love most what the day he was crucified, you know? The moment like they were lashing at him and he has scars to prove to us how much he loves us. And to me, that's, that's, that's how I enjoy his presence. Seeing really his testimony for us, you know? What is the presence of God for us if it's only, oh, it's about me. I felt it, it healed me, it this me. But look what he did, you know? Look what his presence did for us like so to me that's that's the presence you know and and this being an album that is so like bride oriented and leading the bride to pray to worship to, to just wait on God I felt that this is something that really needed to 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 be portrayed and you know this the bride is a, is a Jesus worshiper the bride is a worshiper she she longs to be with Jesus you know and To me, that's what this song is, you know, and his what is his presence, but himself. Mm -hmm.